Yes, thank, thank you. Assalamualaikum everyone. Uh, at the outset, I would like to thank Dr. Murtaza Mujahidi, uh, Assistant Professor, Faculty Members of Babul University, Medical Sciences. Uh, he, uh, sir, has first text me uh, regarding my research work and he was asking, so I am thankful to him for his giving me an opportunity to present my presentation before all you learned people. So the uh, uh, a small research which I have conducted is between the uh, mizaj of Unani system of medicine uh, uh, and the somatoplot, uh, Sheldon's uh, somatoplot. So moving to the next slide, actually it is a part of my uh, main research. Uh, I have done uh, an EMR extramural research uh, uh, for which Ministry of Ayush has funded me and my main research topic was classification of human uh, population based on HLA gene polymorphism and the concept of mizaj in Unani system of medicine. So I will be doing the genetic analysis of mizaj and in this uh, main uh, my research project I have done the assessment of mizaj uh, as well as the assessment of mizaj by somatoplot, Sheldon somatoplot. So uh, I am the principal investigator in this project and my co-investigator is Dr. Kalpana Joshi. Uh, she is professor in HOD Department of Biotechnology and uh, my uh, uh, other co-investigator is Dr. Jalee Sahimad and my senior research fellow uh, uh, was the next slide. Uh, what was the rationale behind the study? Why we have taken this study? Because uh, the ethnic labels uh, that is the ethnicity, geographical location, language, self ancestry reports and they all these are the inaccurate classification uh, of the genetic clusters or you can say genetic makeup. The genotype and the phenotype classification of human population is very important in context to epidemiological context such as for better understanding of disease and for drug response so that we can uh, uh, make customized medicine uh, as per the genetic component of any person. Then the classification of human population, it, it always remain a major challenge for biomedical sciences. So what, what should be the correct uh, method of classification of uh, human uh, population? So we hypothesized that, that uh, Mizaj can be a scientific tool to classify the human population as it is based on Hippocrates theory of humor. Uh, and these humors are the natural component of the body. So in my presentation, I am going to introduce uh, about uh, the, uh, you can say about the, my uh, research work and uh, about its uh, aims and objective and material and methods which we ha I have used uh, to carry out the research and then results and discussion. So uh, when we come to the uh, introductory part of it, so as we all know that Unani system uh, of medicine classify the human being into four types of uh, uh, personality based on Hippocrates theory of humor. So there are uh, four basic mizaj. They are the dhamvi that is sanguine, phlegmatic, choleric and melancholic. And the mizaj is very important entity of Unani system of medicine because the diagnosis is based on the mizaj. And when we prescribe medicine, so while prescribing the medicine and while diagnosing the disease, we always consider the mizaj of the uh, disease itself, the mizaj of the person uh, as such and then the uh, medicine which we are prescribing to the patient. So we, uh, we also consider the mizaj of the um, uh, medicines also. So, uh, uh, so mizaj is a very important tool uh, in Unani system of medicine and every Hakim uh, or every Unani physician who is uh, practicing Unani system of me medicine, he should uh, be accustomed to uh, the, you can say, methodology of uh, uh, doing assessment of mizaj. So, uh, and then in the next uh, uh, slide, I can I have put that uh, American psychologist William Sheldon, when I was doing my uh, uh, literature review and when I was doing my uh, research on Google, I have come across a uh, very interesting, uh, you can say, uh, hypothesis about uh, uh, American psychologist Will William Sheldon. He, he is the first psychologist who has acknowledged the theory of humors of Hippocrates 
and uh, he has uh, uh, you can say uh, classify the human uh, population uh, on the basis of uh, uh, you can say uh, on the basis of the ectomorph uh, ectomorphic layer mesomorphic layer and the uh, endomorphic layer so as we know uh, we have studied the physiology so we know that uh, after the conception the first three layers are formed in the fetus and from this three basic layer all the different types of uh, uh, you can say uh, human bodies is formed so he has classified the uh, human being based on this uh, three layer endomorphy mesomorphy and ectomorphy and uh, he has taken 10 anthropometric measurements and uh, uh, he has also developed a software so when we upload these anthropometric measurements on this software the software gives us a score and there is a curvilinear triangle and uh, uh, when you compare your uh, uh, you can say the score which you have gained uh, from the anthropometric measurement and from the software i am going to demo uh, about this software also uh, and uh, when you put all these anthropometric measurements on the software, the software will give you a score and you have to, uh, you can say, accommodate this score on the curvilinear triangle and that will give you the uh, message of that person. So, uh, here you can see the instrument which uh, I have used for uh, measurement of anthropometric measurements. So, here you can see uh, happened and skin fold caliper. So, it gives you the skin fold uh, thickness or thinness you can say. Then there is a bone breadth caliper and then body omron, uh, omron body composition analyzer. So this machine will uh, give us the accurate percentage of muscles and percentage of fats in the body. And this percentage of uh, muscles and percentage of fats can be, uh, this score can be used uh, in Unani questionnaire. So these are the, you can say, equipments which I have used. And, uh, and of course the validated questionnaire. So uh, everybody is curious about uh, to know the validated questionnaire. Uh, so in my uh, inclusion and exclusion criteria, I have uh, selected healthy individuals and then uh, the age between 18 to 25 years and the gender is of either gender I have included in my study. And I have excluded diseased individuals, pregnant and lactating mothers and uh, ethical committee institutional ethical committee approval was taken and in informed consent was taken before the uh, subject before recruiting them into the study. Now uh, regarding the Unani questionnaire uh, which I have uh, uh, shared in the uh, PowerPoint uh, sorry I have shared with the group uh, so you can uh, assess those uh, questionnaire so here the questionnaire uh, is I am just going to uh, uh, read out for you uh, the questionnaire in which we have uh, taken the parameters and these parameters are, uh, this questionnaire was, uh, 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 you can say I have taken this questionnaire from the Central Council of Research, uh, the former DIG, uh, he has approved this uh, uh, questionnaire and it was constructed by the CCRUM, uh, Central Council of Research, uh, New Delhi. And, uh, uh, and Hyderabad. So this questionnaire is comprised of, uh, as you can uh, see uh, when you download it, uh, so there is a, you can say, uh, basic information that is the name, age, gender, uh, occupation and uh, all that. And then uh, the main questionnaire is based on Ajnase Ashra. So here uh, we have uh, parameters like uh, touch sensation. So we called it as lumps. So first we have to feel the, uh, no, uh, the body temperature of that person or lumps of that person and then uh, the temperament has classified into Dhamvi, Balgami, Safravi and Saudavi. So uh, the hot and moist uh, you can say touch will come. Then some person may be having cold and moist uh, uh, you can say uh, uh, they can feel cold and moist to touch and uh, some person may be uh, feeling hot and dry when as a Unani physician I am touching their hand and then it may be cold and dry. So all these uh, parameters, uh, they are the quantity, uh, sorry, they are the qualitative parameters. So uh, I have to convert this qualitative parameter into quantitative parameter and for that uh, I have referred a book uh, which is, uh, 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 which is uh, 
tajdeed tib the book name is tajdeed tib and it is translated by sayed zillur rahman sir uh, and uh, in that book hakim balinas uh, uh, he has uh, you can say quantify the intensity of the kaifiyat uh, that is when we say hot cold dry and wet so these are the kaifiyat of the object or of the person so uh, he has classified that what he he has written he has not exactly said that uh, the it should be graded as 4 3 2 or 1 so on numerical scale uh, i have classified uh, 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 you can say the kaifiyat of uh, or the uh, the degree i have given four score to har yabis and uh, three score to har ratab and barit ratab two score i have assigned two score and for barit yabis i have uh, assigned one score so on the basis of his uh, you can say uh, classification on the intensity of the kaifiyat or the intensity of the quality i, I have uh, assigned this score to uh, each uh, you can say uh, parameter and then uh, to validate it whether i have correctly uh, given or assigned them the score uh, i have carried out uh, the validity and reliability test uh, and i have uh, uh, selected uh, 60 patient uh, not 60 individual not patient 60 individuals data uh, i'll be again sharing the data with you people if you want to have a look on on those uh, parameter and then i have run a validity and reliability test and i have got a cronbach's value of 0.85 uh, so it is said that if uh, if the cronbach's uh, value if it comes to 0.75 then the questionnaire can be validated so based on the reliability and validity test uh, uh, we can say that uh, the score which i have, I have assigned for each uh, parameter is uh, is correct and on the basis then i have uh, i have you can say assigned the score to whole of the parameters of the questionnaire so when you look at the questionnaire uh, you can see that uh, there is a the first is uh, uh, tactile sensation or lumps and then there is a adile lahem or shahem uh, that is the percentage of uh, muscularity uh, the percentage of muscles and the percentage of fats uh, in the person so just by having a look uh, uh, physical uh, physically we cannot uh, you can say assess a person's uh, the percentage of uh, muscles and fat so i have taken the help from the body composition analyzer and uh, with the help of that uh, i have uh, i have uh, you can say uh, categorize uh, the fats and uh, body and this chart i have taken it uh, from the uh, omron healthcare uh, system so here you can see in this um, uh, assessment of lahem or shahem uh, you can see gender wise uh, age group uh, and then uh, the percentage of skeletal muscle in a person and then the percentage of body fat uh, in the person so uh, as we know that the in saudavi person or in melancholic temperament uh, the percentage of fat is very less and uh, even the percentage of muscles is very less as compared to the safravi mizaj or as compared to the choleric temperament person so on the basis of that uh, here you can see the very high percentage of uh, uh, fat uh, in, in, uh, not in the uh, questionnaire you can see it on the my presentation so very high high normal and low so on this basis i have uh, uh, you can say assign a score in my main questionnaire and then so, so uh, this is how i have score uh, assign the uh, you can say uh, score to each and every uh, parameter here you can see uh, say for example scalp and body hair so we can see the distribution growth texture and shape and color of the hair and at the end what i have done uh, uh, we have uh, you can say add up or sum up all the scores in each column and uh, the highest score Uh, uh, attained by the person in each column will be assessed, and the highest score uh, uh, you can say attained uh, by the person. Say if he is scoring in the first column, so we can say that the person is uh, uh, sanguine. And if he is scoring, uh, for example, if he is scoring high uh, in the second column, so we can say that the person is uh, phlegmatic. 
and choleric and so on. So uh, we have to sum up all the scores at the end and then uh, you have to label that person Dambi, Balgami, Sapravi and Saudavi. So I have uh, designed uh, uh, with the help of the expert, I have designed a software, a small software and uh, uh, that software uh, you have to just uh, click on the uh, parameter which you are fitting and uh, you have to just click in and uh, the, that software automatically will uh, sum up all the score and at the end the software will give you your message or the, your temperament. So uh, this is the questionnaire. So in this questionnaire you can see the psychological questions uh, at the end and then uh, I have uh, in this uh, questionnaire I have put the anthropometric measurements also. So uh, at, at the end you can see uh, you will have both the scores. Here you can see uh, the uh, somato plot. Uh, 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 please go to my presentation. Uh, please go to my presentation. Uh, so here you can see the Sheldon somato plot. Uh, and this uh, uh, somato plot, uh, slide number 14, sir. Slide number 14. Next slide. Uh, yes, this one. The, uh, yeah, this one. So here you can see this is the score. So when you uh, upload the anthropometric measurements on the uh, heat cutter software and that heat cutter software will give you the score. So in this curvilinear triangle you can see the different scores and here the message is also written or the temperament is also written. As for example in the middle of the curvilinear triangle uh, you can see it is written sanguine choleric then sanguine phlegmatic sanguine melancholic. So if, a, if for example if the person scores 354, so you can see that the 350. Okay, I think uh, we don't have that uh, voice of Dr. Mola and maybe he... I think of Yunani questionnaire and then hello okay Am okay I audible? You have your voice please okay so uh, so uh, uh, so I have asked the uh, uh, questions as per the Yunani questionnaire uh, to the individual and then uh, I have explained them uh, uh, them about every question of the questionnaire and then I have asked them where where, where they fit in uh, in which column, first, second, third or fourth and say for example if, uh, I, if I look at the hair, if the person's hair is very thick and if it is dark black in color uh, or, and it is uh, you can say curly and they are very thick so they may fit in in the last that is the uh, melancholic column or if the person is having very thin hair and a very soft hair and they are wavy so they may fit in in the sanguine column and if they are very having very sparse hair, again very soft hair, so they may fit in in the uh, safravi uh, or you can say choleric column. So this is how you have to assess and then uh, we ask them about their thirst for example uh, in, in case of uh, safravi or you can say choleric person the thirst is more as compared to rest of the temperament. So this is how I have interviewed, uh, interviewed each and every individual and at the same time uh, I'm, uh, I'm also uh, taking their anthropometric measurements after their interview. My uh, uh, research officer he has taken the anthropometric measurements and then we have uploaded the score on this uh, heat cutter software and I have purchased the license copy and then uh, we have come to know about the score and we fit that score in the in this curvilinear triangle and then we have assessed the uh, you can say temperament as per the somato plot but one thing which uh, i find very surprising uh, that uh, the sheldon uh, uh, who is a, uh, who, who who was you can say uh, a psychologist but he has just emphasized on the uh, physical parameter or the anthropometric parameter uh, for assessment of mizaj, he has not considered any uh, psychological entity for the assessment of mizaj. So that is uh, you can say very surprising uh, aspect of his uh, uh, method of assessment of uh, mizaj. So uh, this is how uh, I have tried to uh, you can say uh, correlate uh, the uh, 
mizaj by the somato plot as well as by questionnaire uh, now one of the uh, member in the group uh, they have asked uh, uh, only the uh, lahem or shahem or only fat or uh, you can say muscle can be the criteria for assessment of mizaj so it is not so uh, when you will go through the questionnaire uh, you will see that how beautifully the questionnaire was constructed and it has uh, almost uh, you can say uh, uh, completed or enrolled uh, the every uh, physical aspect as well as it has also covered the psychological entity of that person so uh, when we if we consider only the fat and only the muscles then maybe a person may be very fat at time or obese you can say at times and if he joins the gym and if he sheds his fats so uh, i'll say when he was uh, obese when you take the anthropometric measurements and when he become fit and uh, fine uh, after say uh, doing uh, certain exercises and all that so at that time when you will take the measurements then definitely the measurement will differ so we can say that uh, just by the considering the physical entity as uh, sheldon has taken we cannot uh, just assess the uh, mizaj of uh, uh, any person or the temperament of any person we should be considering the psychological entity so uh, we can say that uh, the uh, asian hakims those who have constructed the uh, questionnaire uh, th that questionnaire it almost uh, cover up all the entity which are necessary uh, for the assessment of uh, mizaj so here you can see the 10 anthropometric measurements uh, here we have taken the height then weight of the person then four skin pores we have taken of triceps subscapular region supraspinal and medial calf uh, so we have taken the training uh, from the expert uh, they have come to my department and they have trained us how to take these skin folds and then how to take bone breaths and then two limb girds arm flexed and uh, uh, tensed and then the calf so all these uh, anthropometric measurements we have taken and then one by one we have uploaded it on, it on the software and then we have assessed the uh, mizaj so uh, actually my uh, main uh, uh, you can say topic of my mizaj uh, my research was uh, genetic analysis of uh, uh, mizaj so where what i have done the first i have finalized the mizaj of the person and then i have collected the blood sample and i have sent it to the sihagan institute which is in pune and my co-investigator uh, dr kalpana joshi she is a very renowned person and uh, the the Mr. Tejas Shah, he was the SRF, and he has done the genetic analysis. So uh, I have, uh, mashallah, I have completed my that genetic analysis of Mizaj, where I have taken 180 blood samples, and um, I have written the manuscript also. I have submitted my final report to uh, Ministry of Ayush, and they have accepted my final report. And now my uh, manuscript is ready, uh, uh, and I am in search of a, a good journal, and I'll be sending. Uh, my manuscript for publication so after the publication uh, definitely inshallah i'll be sharing my genetic analysis of mizad with you all the net people thank you thank you very much thank you very much uh, for your good presentation dr uh, mola and uh, we in invite all uh, participants to discuss and negotiate about the good presentation of Dr. Mola. Uh, please, anyone can, uh, want to start? Uh, is there anyone to uh, want to start the uh, discussion about the, this project and the, um, uh, about the article that I will present it? Dr. Mojahedi. Salam alaikum, Dr. Hello, Salam alaikum. Hello, Dr. Mojahedi, and thanks to Dr. Ghazala Mola for her presentation and for his article. Uh, I think, uh, Dr. Mojadi, we can start with you yourself. I think uh, as a 
one of the main aspects of this uh, research project was the uh, message assessment and one of the vague parts of this research that is not fully understood the methodology of the assessment and the details of the questionnaire I think uh, the best person for discussing this issue is you yourself as you are uh, focusing on the uh, standard tools of the uh, message and message determination uh, I invite you to, to, to give a short speech about the message assessment and just more clarification about the method of uh, this method of uh, assessment of message in this pro project just uh, and uh, after that we can discuss other points about this paper. Uh, thank you. Um, um, I, I, uh, um, I would like to tell about the uh, indexing of the, at first, about the indexing of the article. Unfortunately, um, we couldn't find this article in the uh, um, uh, <clears throat> websites, uh, scientific websites, and um, um, just in the uh, Google Scholar as a a research engine. We couldn't uh, find this uh, article. Uh, as we search uh, um, um, continuously, uh, I, uh, I found that this article is presented in the uh, CCURM uh, in the website of uh, Minister of Ayush. Uh, and uh, this is a local, the, 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 uh, the uh, Hippocrite Journal of Yunani Medicine is a, a focal, a local um, a journal that we, co we couldn't access to it and its, uh, uh, um, uh, and its articles at routine in the Google Scholar and others. If, if we, we, if we uh, put, uh, uh, search the title of the article in the uh, Google Scholar, we couldn't uh, find anything about the article and it is a very limitation to assess this this good article. Uh, I, I, for example, uh, I put the title of the article in the Google Scholar, and we don't, we couldn't find it. And as you know, there isn't any information about these kinds of article in Google Scholar. As the first, as the common, uh, uh, as a common. Uh, um, researching guy. Okay, uh, but in inside the the citation of some articles, we use this article, as you know here, as you see here. But there is uh, this article is inside the uh, the site of CCRN, CCU, CCURN, Central Council of Central Council of Research in Yunani Medicine, as you know, and uh, here you you can use the um, Hippocrates Journal of Yunani Medicine, and if you search here, it is very very important for other researchers from uh, the, uh, the, around the world. Uh, they uh, couldn't access routinely uh, to this article, unfortunately, and uh, mm, I, I couldn't find the, um, uh, uh, the article here. Just I put the Hippocrate Journal. Hippocrate Journal is in, inside the CCRM, and you can use here the journal. Archiv the archive the journal it is here in the CCRM and here uh, this is uh, the issues of the journal um, you couldn't find anything uh, from the article here you should to know the issue you know the number of the issue and all the information about your article and couldn't search the title of the article in the um, site as you know as you see I search here the, the title article and I couldn't find anything here yeah anything you couldn't find anything for the article here you should you had to go to the archive of the article and uh, uh, 
you you had to uh, go here uh, 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 about this volume 12 number one page for uh, uh, the March uh, 2017 and you have go there and uh, the the year 2017 excuse me Dr. Uh, here, yeah Sorry, uh, because the time is passing and only 10 yeah, minutes yeah, yeah. left to the, the scheduled time of the, of course, webinar, although there was some delays. Uh, uh, just just to, more, to shorten your uh, main point, I think you are just mentioning the, about the, uh, the poor availability and accessibility to, the, uh, to this, this article because of its uh, publishment, its publication in a, lo a very local journal in India which is uh, even is not accessible through a search engine, not a database, search engine like Google Scholar. And uh, we know that this is one of the uh, challenges and this is one of the drawbacks of many of the uh, articles which have been published in the field of uh, temperament and massage. And that should uh, very seriously should be considered by the researchers of this field because we have to increase our visibility or researches and our papers to be published in more uh, accessible and internationally valid and uh, prestigious journals. Uh, and uh, okay, this is the point. I think there are so many more important points that we have to uh, uh, make mention of them too. Yeah. Uh, 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 another uh, limitation of this article is about the, uh, uh, as you said, as you tell, um, um, the questionnaire, Mizat identification questionnaire. As mentioned inside the article, they use the uh, uh, questionnaire, but we don't have any. Um, um, of course, uh, Dr. Mola um, 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 tell a lot about the questionnaire in this webinar, but inside the article, there isn't any information about the questionnaire. Uh, as you know, the process of uh, developing and design and developing and uh, psychometric pro uh, process of the questionnaire is, is as a project, as a scientific project. And uh, we, uh, we have uh, the, uh, report the, the result of the project and the step-by-step -step, uh, process of the developing and validation of the questionnaire in the article. As in Iran, we uh, designed and uh, developed and uh, validate some questionnaire for message identification and are, are publishing the uh, article uh, as its document, as its validate document of questionnaire. But for this questionnaire, we don't have any information in the article uh, and uh, very, um, we don't have any explanation about the questionnaire. Uh, as they use Ajnas Ashara as the, the, the source of the questionnaire, but we don't have anything uh, about the kind of um, um, uh, scoring and kind of um, uh, <clears throat> uh, in, uh, uh, dividing the, the uh, subjects, uh, dividing the samples to the um, for uh, um, uh, misage and other information. Uh, as you know, in our uh, text in the Manun uh, 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 from the Ibn Sina, uh, uh, we uh, he, she divided she divided the people uh, the Mezat Sehi to nine groups. Now four group, uh, as you know, uh, and uh, uh, so uh, we don't have a four group as phlegmatic, uh, sanguine, and um, melancholic and choleric, but we have. One, uh, one group as temperate massage and eight group uh, as non-temperate massage in healthy massage people. Uh, for our uh, singular massage, hot, cold, wet, and dry. And uh, for, uh, and for uh, compound massage, what and, uh, hot and, and uh, dry as choleric, uh, maybe may can use a choleric uh, uh, um, <clears throat> terminology for it, and uh, hot and wet and cold and wet, cold, cold and dry. But inside the, this article, we have uh, four uh, um, four 
category for uh, about the sue mezaj as we know melancholy choleric and other thing uh, where are where are the temperate people as you know a lot of people healthy people are t have temperate mezaj uh, and uh, we don't have any di uh, in uh, uh, division of the temperate mezaj inside this article uh, of course this article is a good idea has a good idea and uh, um, I think is um, it's the level of uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, um, uh, process are better than other articles that we um, um, we read from Indian college. But uh, these are the, the big uh, limitation of this nice article. I think. Excuse me, Dr. Mojadi. Let me just at this point, as you have uh, uh, very perfectly uh, just mentioned about the drawbacks of the massage assessment in this. Uh, research project, uh, of course, respecting to the researcher and the research team uh, for the efforts in this project. But uh, we we need to increase uh, or the level of our uh, researches and the uh, scientific level and scrutiny of our projects uh, uh, to 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 reach or come on aim. Uh, about the the uh, Mojadi and dear colleagues, I think uh, there is a very very common misunderstanding and misusing of some terms in the field of um, massage research. Uh, when, as as uh, Dr. Mola has mentioned in his paper and uh, very carefully just have reviewed the Umura uh, Tabi'iya and uh, he, she has made mention uh, to the uh, Arkan and Mizaj Akhlaq Aza as you know, all of you. Uh, we have to make. We have to just keep it a very, a very important point in our mind that when we are uh, coming to the mizaj and temperament, uh, first of all, and, and originally and initially, we are speaking about the qualities, the quadruple qualities, dominant qualities of the hotness and coldness, and uh, non-dominant qualities of the wetness and dryness. So it is more accurate and more scientific uh, to, to, to make mention of hotness, coldness, and wetness, dryness, and uh, whether it is simple or whether it's combined or whether it's temperate, uh, which, which make the nine main categories of the massage or temperament. Uh, because why I why I, uh, just just speaking about this because when we are uh, talking about the balgam safra soda and, uh, and these uh, these are in fact in point of fact these are the humors which are the next step after uh, mizaj we have aflat so uh, uh, in order to not uh, misusing and, and just just uh, just mixing these two separate concepts in Yunnan or Persian medicine, uh, which are uh, the mizaj and which are the uh, akhlat or humors, uh, let's let's uh, think about it more and let's uh, uh, use these uh, terms uh, more accurately and separately when we are talking really talking about the humor or akhlat. Okay, there's no problem to say safra so dam balam, but but it is a common. I I I'm I'm just asserting and I'm just confirming it that. Even in Iran, we have this common mistake that uh, we use the terms which are uh, specialized for the humors, for the temperament. But it is not, in fact, it is not true. We have to uh, make mention of the uh, qualities when we are speaking about the mizaj, not to uh, be misunderstood uh, and mixed up with the humors. Uh, okay, this, this just just uh, was a, a point I would like to put it uh, about the questionnaire and the mizaj assessment. Uh, just, so much just I... another. Uh, sorry, yeah. Doctor Bob. Okay, like, uh, Doctor Farouk has a pres have some question. Please, yes, sure, sure. Uh, thank you, um, uh, Doctor Farouk. Please. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Uh, well, a very nice presentation by Dr. Ghazala Mullah. And, uh, there is always something new to learn for all of us. Uh, Dr. Ghazali, uh, as I have uh, many times said this, that there are uh, three major issues presently with uh, Mizaj research. Number one is a standardized questionnaire for assessment of Mizaj. 
that is the problem uh, which we have been facing for many times. Though we have used uh, questionnaires and I have no doubt with uh, the validity of those questionnaires, but they are not uh, universal and standardized, number one. Number second problem which we are facing is that uh, for many years here in India, uh, we have been, you know, mixing the humors with the kathiyat. Uh, that is another issue and uh, we have to come to a consensus to use a single uh, you know, nomenclature as well as the common classification. And I hope uh, Dr. Ghazala Mullah will agree with me. Uh, we, have yes. to, we, have to, we have to use a common classification and yes. a common nomenclature. Either we should use humors or we should use kefiat. Yes. So these are three major issues which we are presently facing and I think uh, Dr. Mujahid, your initiative will definitely you know, ease things out and we will come to a, you know, a common terms where we will have a common classification, where we will have a common terminology and we will have inshallah a standard questionnaire acceptable by all. Uh, regarding this paper, uh, I would have been delighted if uh, Dr. Ghazala Mullah would have presented her research on the genetic analysis and visage. Uh, well, uh, as you said, this, that is under publication. But uh, uh, I have a few few things uh, in in this uh, regarding this paper. Number one is, uh, as she said, she ha they have quantified, they have quantified the 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 parameters, the ajnas, uh, in which she said that we give uh, number four to her and number numbering to the her. Actually, uh, I think this, there is some some you know either it is miscommunication. Uh, I think the word quantification is not appropriate for that. In fact, we have just, you know, changed the, the nominal uh, data, that is basically a nominal uh, uh, variable, uh, and given it a number. In, in, in research, we usually do, we give number to even gender also. Suppose a person is male or female, we also give them numbers one or two. Similarly, giving caveat number one, two, three, four, I don't think that uh, qualifies for quantification. And uh, number two, which I was unable to understand, uh, I, I don't, it is not a question to Dr. Ghazala, she presented very well. I was unable to understand that, that is my fault, uh, that how anthropometric measurements help in misage assessment. And definitely we know that um, uh, there is, uh, in Balgami persons, they have more fat uh, content in the body as compared to the muscle mass, they are bulky as compared to Damvi and Safravi, uh, as compared to other uh, temperaments. And uh, I want to just know uh, what, what was the, these, these ranges or these measurements and how uh, they correlated with the, uh, with the four temperaments which you have classified in your research paper. That is my only question, ma'am. And uh, if you could uh, further elaborate that, I will be very thankful. Thank um, you very much, Dr. Farooq. Uh, please, Dr. Ghazali, please uh, answer the question. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, 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 thank you, Dr. Farooq, uh, for, uh, you can say, critically reviewing my paper and uh, it will always give me, uh, you can say, uh, inspiration to do better in my work. Uh, uh, see, uh, uh, the anthropometric measurements, uh, th these are the 10 uh, measurements uh, which uh, I have taken and then there is a software. So, you have to upload your uh, readings on those software and the software will calculate uh, the readings and it will give you a score and then you have to map your score uh, with that of the curvilinear triangle. Uh, there are mathematical calculations also uh, for, but the ca calculation, the score calculation is a, a little bit tedious, uh, you can say, and a little bit complicated. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely forward uh, that literature to you also so that you can uh, have a look on the, uh, those, uh, uh, you can say, uh, equations uh, by means of which we can uh, calculate uh, the mesage of the person. So uh, this methodology is adopted by the Sheldon and uh, I was wondering how a psychologist uh, uh, is, uh, you can say, assessing the mesage and I just want to, uh, you can say, uh, adopt his uh, methodology and I just want to know how the uh, mesage will be calculated by uh, taking the anthropometric measurements. So, was, there a, uh, was there a score, ma'am? Was there any particular score for a particular mesage? I just want to know that. Yes, yes. Uh, if, you, if you look at the curvilinear triangle, uh, there are particular score for particular combination of mesage. When, when you look at the, uh, you can say, curvilinear triangle, uh, in my uh, presentation, I have put the curvilinear triangle. So, uh, and I have given you the example also. 
say for example if a particular person ha huh, yes this, this uh, curvy linear triangle you can have a look at it and uh, you can see uh, the scores and uh, say for example if a person choleric sanguine person they they can be uh, they can have a score between 262 362 363 uh, so in this curvy linear triangle you can find the scores with the mizaj so uh, when you you put the uh, your findings or you can say when you uh, you put the measurements of uh, any subject on those software the software will give you the mizaj uh, or uh, uh, unfortunately my uh, i couldn't uh, you can say connect my uh, laptop uh, with the uh, screen uh, with you all people Uh, but uh, as you are in india definitely i'll share my screen with you and i'll show you how the software works and how you have to upload the score anthropometric uh, scores on that software the software will give you this uh, specific curvy linear triangle okay, okay. and so if, uh, so if we have a score so if we have a score suppose i have a score yes. can, can yes. we predict predict the mizaj from that Yes. Or is, yes. Is the reverse uh, also true? Yes. Definitely, the the software will give you a curvy linear triangle image. The software will give you the image, and it will uh, it will give a red dot. Say, for example, if a person is scoring six to twenty two, so you can see six hundred and twenty two right in the right corner of the curvy linear triangle where it is written phlegmatic sanguine. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. ha so there will be a red dot so it means that that red dot person belongs to that particular mizaj or temperament and that is the particular score of that person i'll definitely share you the images of the curvy linear triangle uh, which i have assessed so that you will have an idea unfortunately i'm i'm very sorry i won't be able to connect no, my no issue ma'am uh, no issue ma'am it was uh, so, otherwise very nice presentation it was a very okay. nice and we learned a lot from this Thank but you. we are waiting for your genetic results genetic analysis and mizaj we will be desperately waiting for that actually i have i have uh, sent it to journal of ayurveda and integrative medicine so they have kept my uh, article with them for one and half year and then uh, they have suggested very very major uh, changes to my study they said ke, the reviewer said that i should be doing the whole genome sequence uh, and then i have uh, i have to correlate it with the temperament but the whole genome sequence uh, become very very costly i have got only 30 lakhs of rupees from ministry of ayush and uh, uh, within that amount i have to uh, i have completed only 180 persons genetic analysis so it is not possible for me to uh, you can say uh, to, to be uh, to adapt the ideas of the reviewer so now i am i am going to uh, send my article to any of the reputed international journal uh, uh, the problem is that um, uh, not more of the reviewers are available uh, in uh, in journals having good impact factor and in the international uh, journal list uh, because they are not having so many reviewers from unani side uh, i have sent my uh, public uh, my manuscript to two or three uh, international good journals but they said ke sorry we don't have any unani uh person uh, as a reviewer so uh, the person who we are not able to review the anot of the unani part of your article we can have reviewers from genetic side so they will assess your uh, they will review your genetic part but who will uh, review your unani part of your manuscript so that is my main concern and that is why i am getting very delayed uh, for my publication thank you ma'am we wish you best of luck for the publication thank you, thank you dr mujahidi for the opportunity over to you uh, thank you very much dr farooq for yeah, your nice um, explanation and your nice uh, question and the uh, and the good answers uh, from uh, dr mola uh, is there any question i would like to best come in if it's possible assalamu alaikum dr rashid bikha please yes no no so first of all gazala uh, so well done in the research so it's a really quite extensive but i think one of the things that has been concerning me on this whole discussion about mejas <clears throat> the bottom line from the from the uh, point of view of the nani person method or tip a person's temperament is a combination of physical mental emotional spiritual aspect so 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 any of this and unfortunately today with the western dominance that has uh, that has dominated all of our cultural institutions the whole the the, the uh, aspect of uh, respect to to mental and emotional is first of all not really measurable right and then secondly so so this puts 
a big question mark on this whole on this whole idea. Secondly, again, my humble opinion is the more the parameters, the more difficult it is to come to to a conclusion. Like again, yeah, Kazala, uh, your, your your article I went through. You know, there were again from my little experience, and I feel I'm being very humble about it. From, from my experience, you know, a lot of things were just not making sense in terms of the combination. Now, the other aspect is I think we really need to highlight, and I think the Dr. Bapa did, did bring that in. It's not only a question of, of a person's temperament, but also the quality associated with it. Because ultimately, the quality associated with, with the temperament, but more so, more so, you know, from the looking at, 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 my, at our research, there is always definitely a dominant, subdominant temperament. And again, you know, when I started doing this whole aspect about, about doing a temperamental evaluation, I said a lot of, of, of the Ayurvedic approach. And there I saw they had also, you know, Vata Pika Kappa, all three. Now again, yeah, looking at the concept of, of the perfection of creation from, from Allah wa ta'ala, it was, to me, it just didn't make sense that a person who say sanguinous can also be melancholic, because it will be two opposites. And this, then with our research, brought us into the aspect of a dominant and subdominant next to each other. And, you know, alhamdulillah, once you look at the temperamental combination and the quality, then, then something I must also just mention, by the way, is that having joined academia for the last year and a half, virtually every article on temperament, you know, uh, of temperament in terms of, of doing the assessment, and also the link between temperament and, and illness condition, there is definitely a link between it. So, and all this is based on <laughs> the dominant quality associated with an, with an individual's temperament. So on the one hand, whilst, whilst I know with the Western influence, you know, with the whole Western system, even in church education, you know, a lot of it has gone into genetics. Yes, and of course, I mean, obviously, each person, each person, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, will have a certain genetic profile. That goes without saying. But also, the other aspect is, is a lot of the questions asked and to and fro are also subjective. So, so the temperamental valuation, once it comes too many questions, becomes the issue. Secondly, also, trying to, trying to, to, to finalize the assessment of, of, of temperament on, on, on biochemical uh, processes. And that also changes because, again, yeah, you know, depending on the person's health, age, and definitely after a certain age, most people's um, physiological, biochemical structures are changing all the time. So that also makes it very difficult to come to a certain conclusion. But, but overall, alhamdulillah, the initiative has been excellent initiative. We need to try and formalize something that will make it easy globally for all of us to have, to have each other similar, similar questionnaire, whatever it might be. But, uh, but again, yeah, so I want to really once again congratulate the whole initiative. And again, yeah, I just give you my, my humble opinion that, you know, the old KISS principle, keep it simple, sir. keep it simple, stupid. So, you know, the more complicated you make it, the more difficult it actually becomes because the interpretation will always change. And also remember, a lot of it is not objective, it is subjective. So this is my, 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 my comments. And once again, Gavala, you know, the initiative and, and, and your enthusiasm from, from our meeting a few years ago, Alhamdulillah, like still there. Well done. And again, well done to, to everybody else. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Rashid Bikha. Um, uh, Dr. Mola, is there any comment? Uh, I have uh, noted down all the uh, suggestions and uh, 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 all the suggestions by the noted uh, speakers and by the viewers and by the learned people. I have noted down. And definitely, inshallah, I'll make the changes in my manuscript so that it will become more, uh, it can become more acceptable and uh, more understandable uh, for the readers, uh, inshallah. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Muhammad Yasser, uh, is there any com comment? You write some question in the um, chat. Uh, can you speak? Um, uh, Assalamu alaikum. 
<laughs> yes, sir, my first question is, what is the validity of uh, these questionnaires uh, used in the study? And how? what is the procedure of uh, validation of this uh, questionnaire for massage? So please uh, uh, briefly explain the validity questionnaire used uh, in this study or the questionnaire proposed by CCRM is valid. Is there any uh, study related to its validity? Please. Uh. Uh, 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 I, I don't have any idea about the CCRM, but uh, what I have done, uh, as uh, Dr. Dar said, we should not be uh, saying quantification, we should be saying, uh, 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 what he said, we, we should be saying, uh, uh, you can say numbering. So we are uh, giving a number, a specific number to a specific caveat uh, of that uh, particular parameter and then uh, uh, I have uploaded it on the, uh, you can say, SPSS uh, uh, IBM software uh, for a reliability test and uh, the validity or you can say the score of that uh, questionnaire. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh, we, we don't have any time. Thank you, Dr. Mola, uh, for your good presentation and um, um, uh, good, your good project and your good research. Uh, uh, um, um, our uh, discussion and our uh, uh, um, negotiation uh, around your uh, um, research, around your project, uh, doesn't increase the, the value of your project. Uh, I want to discuss to uh, know more about good best uh, designing for uh, for the future and uh, um, to elevate our research in the future, inshallah. Uh, and thank you very much for uh, uh, your uh, uh, good presentation. Um, uh, maybe we write some. Uh, um, um, explanation about the about the article in the uh, in the whatsapp groups and inshallah in the future uh, we will arrange uh, um, uh, some workshop uh, uh, about uh, uh, about uh, the method of uh, designing and uh, evaluating the reliability and validity assessment of the uh, questionnaire uh, for all colleagues uh, around the world by our team uh, we have a uh, high-level uh, um, um, uh, faculty member of uh, universities in Iran um, uh, that uh, they, uh, they are specialists in the uh, psychometric uh, method and developing and standardization of the questionnaire. And inshallah, we will have a good uh, workshop in the next month, inshallah. Uh, is there any comment uh, uh, from uh, um, um, participants? Oh, sorry. It is Just less uh, Miss Parsa Wani, she wants to speak. I think it's better to let him speak. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm Dr. Paraswani. I'm medical officer in Delhi government. First of all, I would like to congratulate Ghazala ma'am for uh, doing such a marvelous work on basics of Yunani. <laughs> But ma'am, uh, what I think is can we use your software or we need some permission or something like that if we intend to use it and compare at our level? Uh, yes, I have, I have developed a software. Uh, uh, this questionnaire is a very big questionnaire. Again, uh, by data, tiny, uh, data mining technique, uh, we have shortlisted uh, the questionnaire and the questions of the uh, Ajna Se Ashra. And then it is in the, you can say, I have, uh, with the expert in the field uh, from the IT sector, I have formulated a small software in which you have to just uh, uh, answer the uh, 10 or 11 questions and that software will give you your mizaj or the temperament. Uh, once I'll get uh, permission from the ministry side, then uh, definitely it will go public and definitely I'll share that uh, software with you all people. Once I, uh, my manuscript is published, then I'll get permission from the ministry. Uh, 
Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, ma'am, and all the best for your publication. Thanks. So thank, much. thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Bas. At at uh, at least I emphasize that uh, very every software that we developed and uh, um, uh, present to the scientific centers needs to have a. Uh, scientific method uh, ab about its uh, questionnaire. Uh, for example, um, at first we had to uh, design and standardize a questionnaire. After that, uh, and after prove uh, it uh, by the uh, scientific method, uh, we could uh, design uh, and put it in the software and use for projects. Uh, thank you very much for your good attention and your good presentation uh, and your good question and explanation. All body, uh, especially Dr. Uh, Rashid Bikha, Dr. Farooq, Dr. Babak Danishpar, and other uh, colleagues from Iran, from India, and other countries. Thank you very much. Have a good time. And inshallah, uh, we will uh, visit each us in, inshallah in the next month and another presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good time. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.